everybody, Scott here at Coastal Glass. So today I'm going to put on a, a tunnel wrap. And uh, a lot of customers ask me what do you do in case of wrinkles. Like, uh, for example, I have one customer not long ago. He, uh, he had to put on a panel, and uh, it just so happens sometimes you get toward the edge, you might get a little bit of buildup of vinyl, and it'll crease in a way where it'll leave a line in the vinyl and the finish of the vinyl. And that's okay. Uh, most vinyls nowadays have a memory. So uh, what I'm going to try to attempt to show you here today is uh, in the event we do get a wrinkle, which you would normally will around rivets and any areas that you uh, that vinyl will have a tendency to build up. And I want to show you how the memory works. It, it, you know, you don't really have to pull it all off and throw it in the garbage. Do a little bit of heat. If the film goes right back to its original shape, it's warm. You may have to wait for a second to reapply it. But... Um, I'll give you an example. So here we already have it started, stuck on, and there's rivets here. So I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick all this up, but you can see how there's scattered rivets here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So now, oh, we got no power. Just a second here. I'm like, you done? Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do instead of applying this with a squeegee, because there are all kinds of ups and downs and lows and rivets and you're going to use a rag, okay? You're not going to bite off a lot here. You're just going to do like a finger width at a time. And what happens is I'm softening, softening up the vinyl with the heat. Here you go. You can see it gets, it gets really, really, really soft here. So you're just going to knock off a finger width at a time, maybe a quarter inch at a time. When you get to rivets, you can see what happens here. It just conforms right around that rivet real nice. You wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to achieve this with a, with a squeegee. Now, this particular vinyl, it's air release. So, if you do happen to get a bubble... Okay, so here. Here, I, it's a perfect example. Can you see that? Is the camera zooming in on that perfectly? Just go on in and take your time. Where is it? Right here. Let it zoom. Okay, see? Now you can see this here. So, so this is crease now. I just want to show you how fast this is. I'm going to pull it back. Now you can still see the crease, right? Still see that in the camera? Yep, perfect. Now I just want to keep the camera there, Mom. I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you how fast this is going to go in with a little bit of heat. Can you see it? Bam, gone. And that's exactly, that's exactly what you want to do in the event where you may get a little bit of buildup of vinyl. You don't have to rip it off and throw it in the garbage. It's a, it's an easy fix. And like I said, most, most vinyls nowadays have memory in the vinyl. Especially any vinyl that has air release. Alright guys, if you want to see any more, I mean, I'm going to have a... Uh, i got a YouTube account started here now, and uh, I'm going to be putting useful tips and tricks like this onto my YouTube channel all the time. Uh, if there's any questions you want answered, just... Uh, just hit me up. I can uh, try my best to answer them for you. And thank you very much for watching.